Uh, what's good, J-Life? It's your boy, MC Shadow, back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. Highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanted to get into was actually to clarify uh, something. I had dropped a video on my other channel, right? Discussing about, you know, individuals' beefs on YouTube and, you know, the rap game and, you know, etc. And a really good subscriber of mine, you know, you know, voices opinion, you know, got at me and told me, you know, he's not gang related, right? But he says that if other individuals, he doesn't understand why other individuals or other channels get so much hate by, you know, so many people, right? That why don't people just let them be, you know, um, are people mad because they're bettering their life or they're looking to better themselves and, you know, stop the childhood, childish, you know, gangbanging shit and stuff like that? Um, you know, sounds like we're bitter. And it's not that we're bitter, right, or that we're hating or, or nothing like that. See, when somebody's coming and being honest, you know, people, you know, tend not to like it when it's, you know, the truth about somebody that they mess with, right? Um, so it's not so much that people are hating on this individual, but merely just bringing the facts, speaking the truth. You know what I mean? And if we want to talk about, you know, childish and, and, um, and, you know, growing up and, and putting stuff to this, um, leaving all of this in the past and, and moving on and bettering yourself, then why are individuals choosing to still talk about the streets and still choosing to, you know, speak on topics that have nothing to do with them? You know, they're not from this side, you know, we're never from this side. And, you know, the ones that were, you know, are no longer, you know what I mean? If they're looking to better themselves and, you know, leave that life behind and really, you know, do that, then why do they choose to still talk about, you know, this side and the politics and the, you know, the shit that has to do with, you know, the South? If the whole point is that they're looking to better themselves and they left the life behind and, and that they're actually, you know, moving and doing better and bigger things, then why are they still indulging and speaking on stuff that has no concern to them since they're moving on up? If they wouldn't speak on on the South, then nobody would have a uh, problem with these individuals. But they're speaking on stuff that has no concern to them. You know? So you can't be mad when now these individuals decide to voice their opinion on how they feel about these people's opinions. And that's just the facts of things. You know what I mean? Because that's the, the, because that's the truth. You know, people want to view certain individuals as the victims when it's like, how? They're choosing to stir the pot, inject themselves in the mess, and speak about it. So individuals start voicing their opinions. Now, and, and, you know, the funny part is that they're just bringing nothing but the truth. It's not like they're, you know, coming in here and calling them out of names or, you know, like me, for example, I never called them, you know, the B word or, or anything outside of their name or said that they're cowards or none of this. I merely have came and spoke nothing but the truth. You know, that this individual told that this, this is this and this and that. But those are the facts. I never called nobody out of their names or nothing like that. So how, how am I hating? Or certain other in individuals hating. They're merely speaking the truth. You know? I can understand if somebody's coming on here and being like, man, fuck that fool, man. I'm not came out and his, you know, kids and bonus girl. See, that's different. That's you're disrespecting and insulting somebody. But if you're just coming merely giving the truth, like, hey, you know, you know, this individual says he hasn't told, but he, but he actually has told him, you know, there's paperwork here. It is. Then how's that? In, you see the difference? People have to understand what's hating and what's actually being honest. There's a difference, you know, because, you know, people are really good, you know, good, smooth talkers. So they brainwash people into thinking that they're actually looking at better people and looking at they're here to make money, plain and simple, and lie to whoever they need to lie to to get it. You know what I mean? You know, they say, you know, you get nothing out of being a gang member and from the streets. This is very true. You know, it's better to stay in school because you literally get nothing positive out of this life except, you know, going to jail, death, and, you know, getting hurt. And this world is nothing, is full of pure chaos. So you're going to get nothing positive out of it. This is all true. One hundo. So people say, you know, what's worse than being a gangster? Yeah, it's bad being a gangster. You know what's even worse? Pretending to be one. 
you know, that these individuals want to pretend and make people believe to see them like they're gangsters when they're not. They never were. So, you know, it's bad to be one. Imagine pretending to be one. <laughs> it's like nobody pretends to be homeless, right? So why would you pretend to be a gangster? You know what I mean? That shit makes no sense. That's why people, you know, call out these individuals because they're pretending to be something that's like, bro, if you're going to pretend to be something, at least pretend to be a doctor or a lawyer, something productive in society and pretend to be a gangster. Because this is true. This it's, They're pretending. And you can't be mad when individuals that have actually really sacrificed and paid prices to this life to call them out on it. Just like if somebody were to take credit for your schoolwork, right, when they didn't do shit and they're taking all the credit, you would be like, hey, what the fuck? Don't act like you wouldn't. You know? Somebody takes credit for your project, right? You know, you guys did a project together and this individual didn't do nothing and all of you guys put in all the work and yet he's taking all the credit and saying how he put in the work and, you know, and, and saying all this and that when you guys are like, what the fuck? You didn't even do nothing. You know what I mean? So you would understand how it feels. Don't act like you wouldn't. You know, and this is merely just the facts of things. You know what I mean? You know, if these individuals would really truly move on and, and you know, like they say that they have and, you know, all of this shit is dumb and they're looking to do bigger and better things for the raza and to help the raza, all right then. You know, by all means. But yet by speaking about Southern politics, these gang politics, how is that helping our raza out there who are not even gang related? Our raza is not gang related. That's out there, hardworking individuals. How's telling stories about how you stabbed somebody and you shot somebody and how you how you were like you were with the business and it? How is that helping the raza? How is that benefiting the raza? How is that elevating our people? Why, by you know fulfilling these people's egos? For people to be like, yeah, this fool is really with the business. That information is going to help the raza? Is going to benefit our people? How? It's not helping the raza. It's not doing nothing for the raza. So how are people really benefiting our raza or uniting our raza by doing that kind of shit? Elaborate. You can't be mad when we're calling out the facts of things. You know what I mean? There's real activists out there you know, fighting for the Raza's rights. Real individuals out there protesting and actually trying to make a difference for our people. You know, for a better life here. Real individuals doing real things for our Raza. Not these individuals that are looking to lie to people just to trick them to get their um, likes and views. That way they could get money. Just because they don't want to work. You know, just because, you know, they're scared of being recognized in the real world because of their past. You know what I mean? Can't be a man when we call it for what it is. Facts is facts, bro. But, yeah, just my opinions. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments and shout out.